I expect that uh, you have understanding of what is polymorphism, something definitions like poly is equals to many and morphs is many forms we can say and polymorphism is basically a method overloading and method overriding. Uh, same like polymorphism I consider that you are aware of what is overloading like a class to have more than one method which can have same name but different argument or their order. Uh, if you are not uh, aware about this you can have a look like we have a class A and we have you know a various print method into this but all the print method either has you know the different uh, order or the different argument of the order uh, we are calling it as a overloading. Moreover you can uh, look into the second last and last method of print where we see that int a and float b and into the last the float b and int a but the order is different so we are calling it again as overloading. Same I am considering for what is overriding like if a subclass or child class which has the same method as declared in the parent class it is also important to have the same name of that method like if you are taking a argument the order and the argument should be the same for that in that case it will consider as an overriding so now if we have understanding of all these things we can go ahead of what exactly or important questions arise on this topic this is the pretty much basic understanding I am considering you all knew this Always remember either it is method overloading, early binding, static polymorphism, compile time polymorphism. All these names are just method overloading only. Don't be confused. And similarly it also applicable on method overriding either it is late binding, dynamic polymorphism or runtime polymorphism. All these things are also same. So in coming videos we'll talk about special cases of overloading overriding interviews.